Watching KETK Today. Welcome back and everyone here is a look at Tyler with our Skyview camera brought to you by Cables Roofing. We are off to a quiet start, but it is pretty mild out there this morning. Current temperature in Tyler is 53 with a dew point of 50 and winds out of the south at 10 miles per hour. So the moisture is increasing across the area that is leading to some patchy fog development out there this morning. So leave some extra time to get to your destination, especially if you are in deep east Texas temperatures. Right now across the Arklatex, upper 40s to low 50s for the most part. Notice some 60s down to our south in Houston and Austin. We'll actually see morning lows uh, for some of us in the 60s as early as tomorrow morning. And when you have those morning lows in the 60s, that means that if we are warmer for the morning than the average high temperature right now for this time of the year. Wednesday night into early Thursday, we get a cold front moving on in, which will bring a risk of an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm. No widespread severe weather is expected. In fact, rain chances overall Wednesday night are going to be pretty low, only sitting at about 20%. So your chance of seeing even a storm in the first place is already pretty low. And so the severe weather threat will be even lower heading into the day heading into the overnight hours rather Wednesday into early Thursday. Stay weather aware though Wednesday night. You don't necessarily have to stay up all night long, but just have ways to receive weather alerts that can also wake you up. Damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour is the primary concern. I have it at a low to medium threat, a low threat for tornadoes, large hail and flash flooding. So those uh, three things cannot be entirely ruled out, but really 60 mile per hour wind gusts is the primary concern here. Here's a look at what Futurecast has for Wednesday. We start off with some cloud cover, but we'll see some sunshine throughout the course of the day. The cold front though slowly approaches the area Wednesday night. Showers and storms fire off out ahead of it really after about 8, 9 o'clock at night Wednesday. And then into early Thursday, we'll see some showers and a few thunderstorms continuing as the cold front uh, sweeps through the area. Some heavier rain and storms though the further north and east you go from it. And then by around 6 o'clock in the morning, the cold front's already exited the area and we are drying out throughout our day on a Thursday. So the system is going to be pretty short lived here. We are going to see that rain chance Wednesday night into early Thursday, but look at that big cool down Thursday or Wednesday into Thursday. We drop 20 degrees from the high temperature Wednesday to Thursday, but still that's right where we should be for this time of year for Thursday and Friday. We're right back into the 60s again Saturday and Sunday, and then by Monday we are once again in the 70s out there with more showers possible, so it's staying pretty mild for the next seven days here with an occasional cool down here or there again. That comes Thursday and Friday, including in deep east Texas, where high temperatures will be in the low 60s, so a lot cooler than compared to Wednesday, but still uh, seasonal for this time of year. We'll be back into the 70s again by Sunday and Monday in deep east Texas.